you've written a children's book. Now the million dollar question, how do you publish it? Do you wanna go the traditional route, get cozy with a small press, or go all in and self-publish? Maybe hybrid publishing is more your speed. Don't worry, in today's video, we'll break down the options so you can decide which path best suits your masterpiece. And yes, I'll be sharing a few personal stories about my experiences with KDP and Ingram Spark. Spoiler, it was a journey. Hi, I'm Charlotte Glaze, author, illustrator, and mom. If you're enjoying this content, be sure to hit that subscribe button for more publishing tips. And quick plug, my book, Storm Trucks, is live on Kickstarter right now, complete with some pretty cool bonus items like bookmarks and stickers. First up, the big five, Penguin Random House, Harper Collins, Simon and Schuster, Hachette, and Macmillan. These industry giants publish roughly 80% of all books in the US. So getting your manuscript through their doors can feel like winning the lottery. If the lottery also involved getting an agent, surviving an editorial team, and hoping your book fits their marketing plan for the next fiscal year. Actually, it sounds a lot like trying to break into Hollywood. Maybe if I bat my eyes a little more. What? You're an actress, correct? I'm not an actress. I'm an actress. If you do make it into the big five, though, you'll have a dream team helping you with everything from editing to distribution. That is, assuming your book doesn't get lost in their ever-growing pile of potential bestsellers. Perk. Why distribution and credibility? Downside, harder to get into than your town's best preschool and slow. Next up, small publishers. Think of them as the indie coffee shops of the publishing world. They might be smaller in scale, but they cater to niche markets like regional interests, religious works, or specific genres. With small presses, you'll likely get more personal attention, and they might be more willing to take a risk on a fresh new voice. That's you. Unfortunately, the advance will be more tall than Vinti. Perk, more personalized service and a niche audience. Downside, smaller advances and a narrower distribution network. Hybrid publishing is a middle ground option where you chip in some or all of the funding, but still get the benefit of a professional publishing team. They'll help with editing, design, and sometimes even marketing and distribution. However, your book will typically reflect their style so you don't get total creative freedom. This can be a great option if you want to retain some control without doing all the heavy lifting. Just be sure to carefully vet your hybrid publisher. Some are great, others not so much. Check out the books they've already published, make sure you like what you see, talk to some of their authors. Don't get scammed. Perk, you get a team without giving up all control. Downside, you're paying for that team, so be sure it's worth it. Self-publishing, AKA Control Freaks Unite. Now, for my personal favorite, self-publishing. If you wanna call all the shots, self-publishing is your path. You'll be in charge of everything from book design and file prep to printing, marketing, distribution. The best part, creative freedom. Your book will be exactly how you want it with no compromises. The flip side, it's all on you, including the budget. You can hire professionals for editing, design, or marketing, and trust me, you'll probably want to, but be prepared, every hired hand comes with a price tag. If you are an entrepreneurial spirit like me though, it's incredibly rewarding. Perk, total creative control and higher potential profits. Downside, a lot of personal effort and you are footing the bill. KDP is Amazon's self-publishing platform offering both eBooks and print-on-demand paperbacks. It's easy, it's fast, and there's no upfront cost. 
you get worldwide distribution through Amazon's network, which is great for exposure. However, KDP has some limitations. Hardback books? No. And while their quality works for novels, their print-on-demand quality isn't picture book perfect. I personally set up storm trucks with KDP and ordered proofs. I confess myself disappointed. Yeah. But for paperbacks, especially for novels, it's a solid option. Just be ready to follow their formatting requirements exactly. Perk, easy setup, no upfront costs, global distribution. Downside, limited quality control, especially for picture books. Ingram Spark is another print on demand option, but with more bells and whistles, including hardcover options and worldwide distribution to bookstores and libraries. If you're looking to get your book into brick and mortar stores, this could be your ticket. However, their setup process is tricky. And I'm a techie person. And they require you to set your price and discount to wholesale needs, which can cut into your profit margins a lot. I gave Ingram Spark a try for storm trucks, but between the tough setup and the small profit per book, I decided it wasn't for me. Some authors I know have had great success with Ingram Spark, especially if their book aligns with school standards for libraries, that kind of thing. Perk, hardcovers, global distribution, bookstore placement. Downside, difficult setup and low profits. After exploring all these options, I decided to take the leap into fully self-publishing storm trucks. I had a solid offer from a local hybrid publisher, but at the end of the day, the creative control and freedom to bring my vision to life exactly as I imagined it was too tempting. It's been a wild ride, but I wouldn't change a thing. I ended up sourcing quotes from printers both in North America and overseas and decided on a printer in China. Why? Because they offered the best price point and top-notch quality in four color offset printing. I also got to choose every detail, down to the paper thickness and cover finish. Yes, I am that kind of person. Self-publishing does mean you're the one fronting the cash though. With traditional publishing, the publisher covers the costs. In self-publishing, it's all on you. So where do you get those funds? Well, that's a topic for my next video, so hit that subscribe button and stay tuned. Remember, no matter which publishing path you choose, the most important thing is getting your story out into the world. Don't forget to check out Storm Trucks on Kickstarter right now. Follow that link and check it out. Keep creating. This is Charlotte Glaze, and I'm building up families with books.